you, the listeners. And um, it's the, it's come to the end of one month, uh, end of a particular period. And I just wanted to share that when I joined Observer back in 2013, I did so for two reasons. One was to fill, fulfill a quiet ambition to be a first-rate media host, and second, to contribute to a society which I felt needed a calm, measured, sometimes reassuring voice, free of partisanship which so enveloped our society over past decades. I got the chance to follow in the footsteps of some outstanding personalities on Observer Radio, who set the stage for people like me and others to provide a forum for what Julian Rogers describes aptly as the democracy of the airways. I came to admire the founders of Observer, Winston and Fergie Derrick, who never failed to show their party colors, but challenged the status quo, whether the powers wore red or whether the powers wore blue. Over the years of hosting the morning show, I've learned a great deal about this country from the people who appeared on the show as our guests and from the listeners who challenged their positions and articulations and to those who challenged me. Above all, I learned the value of respect given and received. Respect for one's opinions and respect for one's choices, whether they be political choices or otherwise. It is such respect that I feel is threatened by recent developments at Observer. I fear that continuing in this role will continue to subject my reputation for fairness and balance to a significant impairment. I also seek peace of mind and safety in this what is called a silly season. I cannot therefore continue to serve in this capacity under the prevailing circumstances. As I announce this departure as host of Observer AM, I remain committed to serving my audience and will find new ways to do so, and I hope that you will be a part of that journey. To the board and management of NewsCo, sincere thanks for allowing me to serve in this capacity, and best wishes to you all. Thanks to the newsroom and the general staff here at NewsCo, who have been extraordinary in their levels of support to me. And last but by no means least, thanks to my current technical director, all the technical directors have been fantastic, but Andre Dyer, who works with me like a glove oftentimes. I just give him a look and he knows exactly what to do. To my beloved listeners, I love and thank all of you, whether you red, blue, or even orange, and even those in the middle. May we all strive to be good, good, good citizens above being supporters of one party or another. Have a splendid 41st anniversary of independence, Antigua and Barbuda. This is DMW signing off for now.